Hello and welcome to this demonstration showing the construction of a streaming application solution for the monitoring and management of real-time traffic. As more and more vehicles, cars, buses, bicycles hit the roads, the chances increase exponentially of excessive speeding and blockages on the roadways. With real-time capabilities now available to manage the flow of traffic using dynamic signage, traffic lights and policing, this kind of solution can instantly identify and reduce congestion while enhancing the public's journey experiences. All built on the industry-leading Oracle Stream Analytics platform and executing on a big data stack, Spark Streaming and Kafka Runtime. Let's kick off by logging into the Stream Explorer user experience and reviewing the configuration of the new highly distributed runtime and the enabled visual analytics capabilities. In the transportation and logistics section of the catalog, we will find some pre-built artifacts for the solution, which define the base stream of the vehicle data in this case public transport buses providing indication of individual speed, use highways and assigned drivers etc. Connections define the underlying configuration for accessing your database and Kafka topics. With a map artifact describing the geofence areas of interest, in this case around Atlanta. A target has been created to send the resultant analytical streaming topic event data to a receiving traffic manipulation application or business process. And finally here, a database reference to specifically define a table with persisted information regarding the drivers of each of the vehicles. Okay, time to create the application. Provide a useful name and description with tags for later catalog searching and connect to the streaming data. Here we can see the Spark console showing the newly created and deployed application. Now back to our user experience tooling where we want to add a spatial analytical stage to only identify the vehicles that are within the area of Atlanta. With just a few clicks of the button, this capability is executing, returning the desired results. We add another stage to our application pipeline to ignore vehicles which are not moving and then using the powerful temporal analytical features of the tooling we define a dynamic moving time window in which we calculate the average speeds for all vehicles identified by their assigned bus trip ID.
For ease of reading and later usage, we can easily change the live output stream event shape column names as desired. The next stage is used to reconnect the calculated streaming data with the original base stream so that we can leverage the entire collection of data available using another time window and streaming source correlation. Using the intuitive integrated Expression Builder function, we can add a new live output stream column, adding a new event type shape to the stream, which will provide the method to identify the various speeding violation levels. So how do we use this new column? Well, with a business rule stage, you can specify the different speeding limits and then assign a value that represents that violation, such as reckless or minor. These values are used later in our visual analytical section of the application. Talking about the visual analytics capabilities of our user experience, we also want to ensure all of the highways have a usable name, so we provide a default name, unknown, to those without any value. This again can be used by our visualization section later. And here we can see all of our completed business rules for the default highway, for reckless, for major and for minor speeding violations. So who are the drivers of these vehicles? This can be assessed with another query stage that will firstly ignore no violation speeds and then will correlate this streaming data with a database table joining on the driver ID and numbers available in the data. Instantly, the results are returned showing for each bus vehicle the name, age, issuing license district of offending drivers, etc.
Can we actually get the real time of the offence? Easy. Using our expression builder, which will not only return the current time, but then can be used to convert that time to another format. Once all the analytical analysis has been completed, the assessed event data can now be sent to a downstream application or process using the defined mapped target. Remember that only published applications can start to flow the resultant events as needed. This will be done later in our application development process. Let's now add some cool visualizations to our application. The visualization tab provides a wealth of different charts that can be used, such as spatial, where we can immediately identify the different speeding violations using color coding. And notice that these charts can be saved as slices for later review. Here, the various vehicle positions and speeds can be observed on a configurable, focused map view. And another bar chart visualization can now be added on our business rule stage, which will show the congestion around Atlanta now. For each highway, we can see the average speeds, 
with the lower the average speed, the greater possibility of congestion. Now that this real-time application is completed, and as we mentioned previously, we now want the resultant analytical event data to be sent downstream. This could be to a receiving application or process that will immediately manipulate the traffic flow, or in our case, to our integrated real-time and historical visual analytical reporting capabilities. As we can see, the Publish button builds the final application and redeploys to the Spark runtime. With that completed in the catalogue, we can see those visualisation chart slices created earlier. Now next, we can combine both the real-time streaming data with historical data using a cube catalog artifact. This is how you can define the various visual attributes, such as metrics, dimensions, and an analytical time task period duration. Once the cube has been created and appears in the catalog, you can enter the chart analytical environment to create the different views desired from the available data, which will be represented later on a new dashboard. Here we create a big number chart and save it with a specific name. Next, we can create a pie chart showing a number of violations by type and once again we can save this chart using a name. Finally, let's create a bar chart showing the number of counts by each state or district of Atlanta. And once again, we save this chart with a specific name. To complete our solution, we can now create a real-time operational dashboard to continuously show the results of our analysis. The dashboard catalog artifact allows us to select the visual elements to be added to our dashboard. We've provided options to refresh the charts on a regular basis We can then save the final results to the clipboard 
for later external viewing of the dashboard with its independent URL. So there we have it, a complete end-to-end -end vehicle monitoring and management analysis application built not in weeks or days, but in minutes.